So every year at Barriga Days, we announce a Barriga man or woman or both of the year. So this year, and, and because I'm, it's, it's me and, and the advisory board, we're, we're small and mighty, oftentimes we just have to sit patiently and pray and wait because we don't always know what he's leading us to. And that's the case in this situation. Um, it was very clear to me very early on um, who would be the very person of the year. So it is my great honor to present to um, Mr. Michael O'Neill the Barrier Man of the Year Award. <laughs> probably should have made another one for his wife Erica because had it not been for her and Denise doing spring study day and and her being here um, our paths may not have crossed um, what Michael has done for this cause and for Bishop Erica in the four short years is incredible when you watch this documentary please know it was written People were hand selected. Um, we were at train museums. We were plucking people out of the air to be actors. We were, you know, it, it, it looks so beautiful, and it is. But the work that goes into it is incredible. Our first documentary, we were trying to decide, it was three or four days. We hit all four seasons. <laughs> bad enough coming back from Eagle Harbor, I had to have somebody drive for me because the weather was so bad. Our own Eric DeBroca, who was our TV6 weatherman for a while, played Bishop Berga. If you've not seen the first documentary, watch the documentary. And when he's preaching from the pulpit in Harbor Springs, know that he is giving one really rowdy weather forecast. <laughs> because as he got up there, he said, I don't know how to preach, I don't know how to do this. And Michael said, talk about what you know. <laughs> and it was incredible footage. I have been so blessed for the opportunities, um, the documentaries, the promotions. As I said earlier, we were under contract to show it twice the first year. It's been shown 78 plus times. It's unheard of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's unheard of to have a documentary have the director's cut and the actual it's not a director's cut folks this is what they saw this morning that by itself was special it was so important to EWTN that they launched it on Verga Day's weekend that they launched it this morning and I think it was Friday sent us an email that they scheduled an encore presentation for tomorrow at 5 o'clock Eastern <laughs> I have a bio that I could read. I have to tell you right now that um, it, it just won't do justice. Um, I don't know that I met anybody that could become so passionate about something and, and so determined to show really what Bishop Eric is about and what he means to everybody and why he's so important. Um, and I can't thank you enough for allowing us to be part of the journey. great honor to, to meet you and over these four years uh, that we've collaborated. Uh, I'm so grateful for the support and for believing in, in our ideas and especially this uh, walking with Berga, the Joe Gregorich story. I remember we interviewed Pauline Gregorich, the daughter of Joe, as part of the first program. And afterwards I told Len, we can't use any of that because all she would do is talk about her father. <laughs> and I said, what? I think this could be a Hollywood movie. It should be its own program. So think about that. And sure enough, Len thought about it and uh, reflected on it and came back sometime later and said, let's do it. Let's make a second one. And uh, she was there every step of the way, including at the trade museum, finding the actors, you know, working the Slovenian Cultural Center and 
turning the place into a police station, into a microfilm lab, the whole deal. She even ran to the library to get microfilm for us for, for some of these scenes. You'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, her support and her effort have been incredible. And uh, I'm honored to call you a friend. And uh, thank you so much for the support. You moved me so much. Thank you.